much like i drink a lot of water every day fresh complexion hi my loves welcome back to a new video so today as you can tell from the title we're going to be reviewing the new range or the nu range i think it's new the new range <laughs> by Yves Saint Laurent I got sent a, a little PR package and they actually did a really good job at shade matching me I'm gonna be going to work today so we're gonna really put this to the test but I've heard really good things about the skin tint this is what the products look like I think I'm gonna be trying the primer today the setting spray and the skin tint this is like a matte blotting lotion which I don't think I'm going to use today. So this is the Glow In Balm. This is £27. It's an oil and water priming moisturiser uh, with light reflecting pearls for an instant glow effect and up to 24 hour hydration. It melts into the skin to boost radiance and nourish and can be used as a luminous makeup base or targeted highlighter to add it add a lit from within glow now with these kind of like glowy highlighters i really don't like it when there's like visible glitter in it especially when i'm putting it all over my face but yeah, it comes in a tube like this i'm using a mixture of daylight and my lighting here because the sun just keeps coming and going before i move on today's post notification shout out is going to go to srx so thank you so much for hitting that bell button i really appreciate it and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so i'm going to use the primer on just one side so i'm going to do it on this and it's actually not that glittery it's not glittery at all it just gives like a really like glass skin kind of glow oh my god that is so soft Oh my god, oh, that feels so lush on my skin, like I can feel like it's smoothing it a little bit, but it doesn't have that silicone -y feel at all because I really hate it, but this feels amazing. Next we have the Bare Look Tint. I have the shade NU11. This retails for £27 and it says that it's a lightweight multitasking skin tint for up to 24 hour hydration leaves the skin naturally enhanced with a radiant finish with 90 percent skincare based formula infused with glycerin hyaluronic acid and marshmallow from our YSL Eureka community gardens this makeup moisturizer hybrid blends se seamlessly into the complexion which creates a thin veil of color for an effortless natural look which is so up my street it has 20 flexible shades it's not too bad for skin tint low to medium coverage super fine coated pigment 24 hour hydration and all day fresh complexion so we'll see that because i need any fresh complexion every day fresh complexion it's really hard to say it's currently 6 30 a.m i woke up extra early for this okay the packaging is super cute and i feel like the show's gonna be really on point i'm gonna use a brush i mean it's literally my skin color That is one side with the skin tint. But yeah, it gives very light to medium coverage, I would say. Just evens out the complexion. It's giving me NARS tinted moisturizer vibes. Like it doesn't, it gives just enough coverage just to even out your skin tone. And I really like that, especially for every day. I've just put the light off so you can see an actual daylight what it looks like but I would say that is really really great coverage for skin tint and it's so glowy but not too much and this, the shade match is on point I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back okay makeup's done I'm just gonna put some lip balm I'm actually so shook at how this looks but we're gonna try the dewy mist it's got hyaluronic acid or jojoba jojoba oil and pomegranate extract it's refreshing moisturizing and can be used under or over makeup or alone to revitalize and hydrate the skin it can be used anytime anywhere and it's a gentle daily treatment spray so basically this whole range is kind of like skincare slash makeup and i've been really loving that lately 
but my my skin just looks so soft and plump oh the sun the sun's decided to make an appearance it just keeps going and coming yeah this lighting is so good for foundation reviews honestly i like to switch it up but yeah as you can tell i love this makeup this is like my go-to everyday makeup um so far this looks so stunning so soft so plump hydrating i kind of like the side with the primer it's just giving even glowier vibes without being like it's not looking oily or greasy it just looks like ugh, i'm just quenched like i drink a lot of water every day so yeah so far i'm so pleased like i said it's just 6 40 a.m now i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and let's see how i look like by the end of it it's gonna be a long day but it's okay <laughs> and ugh, i don't know what is in my hair but to Dyson air wrap give this video a like and comment below if you want a Dyson air wrap video I'm literally so obsessed with it if you don't follow me on Instagram like you wouldn't have seen all the all the playing around I've done with it so far but it's just so good I forgot to do my close-up just looks like skin skin so yeah I will see you guys later it's just now 7 p.m i'm so tired oh my god my eyes they just want to like close my skin looks pretty good like it just looks like my skin obviously you can tell like there's something there i'm just looking at it close i mean guys does it even look like i mean it doesn't even look like i've been wearing this for like almost six out uh, 12 hours i think it stayed on pretty well i mean it just looks like my skin but even better and the fact that i look like this after a very long very long day i mean i'm not mad at it i would definitely recommend it it's a very it's lush guys if you are looking for coverage then i don't think this would be for you but if you really like that natural skin like finish then i definitely recommend this this would be really good for that clean girl clean skin or whatever trend that's been going on it's definitely like to medium coverage borderline light because you can still see my scarring pretty much through my cheek I don't mind it's just skin skin is skin and it's got imperfections and this just kind of just evens out uh, your complexion gives a really beautiful glow not too much you can definitely see like the primer side has definitely more of a glow but i can't be other than that i don't see much else of a difference yeah i would just say the primer gives this really beautiful glow but the product itself holds really well because i'm really into these types of products which really just kind of enhances your skin it doesn't like cover it up much at all it just gives a really nice glow makes it look plump and hydrated i'm gonna give this an, a solid 9 out of 10 because i do really like it i would use it and this shade is literally bomb for me it's the same color of my skin and you 11 is this something you would get i don't know like i really i really like it okay i really like it and my skin and bear in mind i was putting my mask on like i was putting it on and off because i was in the office and we have to wear a mask and the only like transfer i would see would, was from my bronzer so only on this part of my mask but everywhere else like there was barely any transfer on the actual mask it doesn't feel like it's a product that transfers like i'm touching my skin and there's nothing there. so yeah i feel like it was just my cream bronzer transferring onto the mask so yeah overall i'm really pleased i hope you guys found this review really helpful i do have a few products to review for you guys but you know as always just let me know your suggestions in the comments below please give this video a like subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye